Let us now discuss what material we need to create our mini canvases for our homemade pendants. So first is that it is optional whether you want to go in for MDF pieces or you want to go in for cardboard. Here I have taken few MDF pieces and few cardboard pieces. So these are my MDF and these two I have cut out from cardboard. Now let me show you the dimensions. This is approximately 7.5 cm by 10 cm. It's a big pendant. In this case, the square is approximately 3.5 by 3.5 and, and I'll be pairing it up to make earrings using these. The circle radius is 6 cm. Now if I show you the drop, for the drop it's 8 cm uh, and 6 cm. This is 8 cm by 5 cm. This shape is approximately 8 cm by 7 cm. Now what all other material we need to make our pendants? We need a canvas sheet. So this is a normal canvas sheet you can take. These are jewellery accessories. Now it's optional whether you want to take them in silver colour or you want to take them in golden colour. These will be important for attaching our beads and helping us to attach our mala on top. If you want to make earrings, you will need these jewellery accessories for the earrings. I'm using white pearls here which is very optional. These are small which I'm going to be putting in these. And we will be using our fabric glue. We need our scissors. You can use any white glue if fabric glue is not available. Now let us create our first mini uh, canvas for our pen. For this what I am doing is I have taken these. Now take your canvas, cut out two pieces. One has to be the same size as that and one will be a bigger size. Okay. Now place this and before we do anything let us first stick these. So two of them we will stick at the top. I am using fabric glue, it's easier to hold. So carefully follow all the steps so that now if you want to put any bead in these, put your white bead or any other bead and just place it in the center. White bead will go with any color necklace that I want to attach with this, therefore I am going with white bead like this. Now put a little bit more of fabric glue on top. Now you have attached them on the top. Now if you want to have some latkan below, then we are going to have some of these below. Now it's optional how many you want to have. For all of these I am going to be putting my white bead through. Now I am going to apply a little more of my white glue or fabricol or fabric glue on this. Now just let this stick a little, let it take its position and then we are going to stick our canvas on this. Now while this is drying up, keep place it, just mark the points here on where you have put your So this is the back side, okay, here. Now this becomes the exact size. Just mark this line because we want to create slits till this line. Now what you will do is take a small scissors, just create slits till this point. Be careful not to go over the point. So create slits. In the same way create slits on top. Now my heavy this white glue, fabric glue has dried completely. Now what is the first step? The first step is that I am going to put very good quantity of fabric glue here. And there should be no jhol that should come, there should be just put it very evenly. Okay, follow the steps very carefully so that your mini canvas bases are ready for making your 
jewelry. Now place this very carefully in the center. Just let the glue catch on to the canvas for a second. Now, first step is that I'm going to stick this part, just apply, including fabric glue on the edges. Just turn it around, just trim off the edges and let this stick. This will stick in a few minutes because the canvas is thick. See now it's stuck. Now put good quantity of glue this side. Same way, stick this part. Now we are going to start from the top part. Now first pick up the inner part and stick this well. Now see this one. That is why the cut marking should be absolutely correct. Otherwise it will be visible here. So let this be. Now we will start first with the corner pieces. First stick the corners. See this is going to take a while but if you do it step by step, your mini canvases of different shapes will be ready. You can create very beautiful uh, pendants. See this way if you see. If the bead, if some bead is not visible, take it out right now. Now, right now you can check that all your white beads are visible on all sides. So now see it has come, the finish has come fine even. Now this has stuck behind. Now put a very good coat of fabric glue or white glue or fairy bond, whatever you are using. Okay. And stick the exact size canvas on top of it. So though this is going to be the back side but we want the finish to be perfect. For this it's going to be a little time it's going to take 10 15 minutes for this to completely dry up so i'm just going to press it press the edges well and see this is the front side of the pendant this is the back side and i bet you can't make out whether it's made at home or you've purchased so this way this is ready let me show you how we will be creating for other shapes as well. Now we are making the earring. For the earrings I have these. Now these are the earrings that I am making for my big size pendant. This one. So now that my pendant is ready, let us make our earrings. I am making square earrings for these. So I have two pieces of the same size, two little big and four pieces like this. Now the first step is Just stick it in the center. Okay. Now in this what we are going to do is, I am creating them in a diamond style. So I am going to be placing here and this at the top. Here and this one at the top like this now we are going to let it dry now first foremost this has stuck so just give a cut here Just secure this so that 
the canvas is not really visible. Now ensure that your white bead is visible. So like this, the earring is done. Now <clears throat> for the round one. First I have taken a canvas of the same size, one canvas of a bigger size. Now if you need any attachments, now I am taking these. Take your white glue or fairy bond or you can take your fabric glue. Now the trick is that in every shape you need to do cutting very differently so follow it very carefully right till the end so that you know how you need to cut, how will you attach. Now you have to create slits in your canvas, just mark them. Okay. While this dries up, just create slits till the circle. Don't overdo your slits otherwise the cut part is going to get visible. Now we are just going to wait for it to dry up for 5 minutes. So now this has stuck properly. What I am going to be doing first is that apply a good coat of white glue or fairy coal or whatever glue you want to use here on this side. Okay. And place it exactly at the cut points like this. Now we are going to, the folding is really important. Now because this is a circle, okay, make few more cuts in this. Now it's best to place it and then cut it. Just make few more cuts in this. I don't want to cut too much because otherwise also my finish will not come. Okay. Now put good amount of uh, glue onto your pieces as well as onto the edges. Let me cut it further because this is a little bigger piece. Just stick it like this. Now here we will have to be a little careful. Stick this. Hold your piece in place and then stick this on top of it. See like this. Now be careful. Take it from below and then stick it like this this is a little messy but finally the outcome is going to be really good in the circle it's going to take a little while and you can keep checking that your edges are going fine here. Okay, now see it on this side. See your white beads. All your five white beads are visible. Okay, so the white beads should be visible. It's stuck here. Now what you do is just ensure that your circle is absolutely of the same size. In case it's a little bigger, just trim it out. Okay, just check. Now put a very good coat of fairy coal or white glue or whatever glue that you are doing because this is the paper, this is the canvas sheet which is going to not only secure it is also going to ensure that your beads and the jewelry accessory parts that you put are in place. So, see, let it stick. It's going to take 10 15 minutes to stick, and our beautiful base of the pendant is ready. Now, we are creating another pendant of this shape. Now, this I have cut out from my card book. Okay. Once you are happy with your shape, you can cut out any shape. One piece of canvas a little bigger, one same size and four of these. First step is going to be sticking. Now 
now we have I am only doing three latkans of pearls in the base and a single one in the center for the top. So what I have done here is I have put three beads, one tiny white, one golden, 5 mm and one white. Just make sure that all the three beads are below your cut. Or if you are making it with MDF, the pearls should be outside. Let this dry up. Now this has stuck completely. I have cut it at all points. Now once you have cut it, simply start sticking it. Now like this piece is just coming out. So just trim it a little. See you should be careful that this line is coming straight. Okay. The joints ideally should not be visible. Again, we are going to trim it because it's visible. Now hold this. Just ensure that all your three pearls are outside. So you want a straight top. Like this. Ensure that the three pearls are outside. So this way. The three pearls have to be outside in case they are not. Very delicately take out the three pearls. Now that it has stuck well, stick it. See, this is stuck so well. Let it stick well, and then it is ready. Now, this is a bit of piece of cardboard, and I have taken two pieces. Now in this, what I'm going to be doing is, we are just going to attach three. Now for this, I have taken a golden uh, color. Okay, I'm not attaching any bead in this. Just cut it till the line. Now this has stuck properly. This is a cardboard. Now take this. First, let us stick it. So, just put good glue on this. Now, while it is sticking, and just cut these, do these marks. Start with the edge. It's going to take a little while for it to dry up, don't worry. Now here be extremely careful, we have to have a tip on top. See this way. Like this. Now just give them the proper shape like this. Put it straight like this. Now take a piece which is absolutely the same size. So in case you feel that this is a little bigger, just trim it out a little. So trimming out later on will not be possible. Okay, so do a little bit of trimming out. Just stick it well. Now see. 
Now we are going to make a pendant of this particular shape. I have taken one can canvas sheet which is a little bigger, one canvas sheet which is exactly the size, these jewelry accessories and in each of them I have put four four beads of white color, two or two three of the extra. First and the foremost we are going to stick, this is fabric glue that I am taking, just spread it and stick it to keep it in place. Now wherever you want to stick these, apply a good layer of your glue. Now be careful because we put the beads, ensure that the beads come below like this. like this now to hold our mala on top see right now it's going to be very very wet so we have to leave it for four five minutes now keep this for drying so now this has stuck completely Take your scissors and mark cuts at the point at which you want to stick it. Now you have to be careful when you are taking in between them. It's going to take a little while, this will require a little patience but our pendant bases are going to turn out to be very beautiful. Like this. So this way it's going to come out. This we will trim a little bit. This way. Your base is ready. You can just stretch it. Now we will do for the top part. Like this. इसको थोड़ा सा अच्छे से प्रेस कर लीजिए। ये बट तो नेसेसरी शेप है ऊपर। इफ यू सी वी गिवन द राउंडेड। ओके। नाउ बिफोर वी स्टिक द बैक साइड जस्ट मेक शोर ऑल योर फोर बीड्स आर विजिबल। दे आर कंपलीटली विजिबल। नाउ ओके। टेक दिस Now this is the front side, this is the back side. So just let this stick well. Once this has stuck, it's going to look very beautiful. So now see in this way, I have created all the pendants right at home in various shapes and sizes using both MDF as well as card. Do like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to press the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as we put a new video or are live on our channel. Thanks for watching and bye bye.